Hello and welcome. This is attorney Mark Blaine coming to you with another book review for the monthly law firm newsletter. And every time I think about doing a book review, it gets a little bit difficult for me because there's so many great works out there. So, but for this video, I decided to go with a fiction piece of work from 19th century England by Oscar Wilde. And of course, I chose the picture of Dorian Gray. Um, I chose this for several reasons. Uh, first of all, I like, uh, if I read fiction, I like reading Victorian England, um, Industrial Age, uh, those time frames. But Oscar Wilde was an eccentric, eccentric author, and I find that the more interesting these authors are, the more inter interesting the read that you get out of it. So that's another motivation why I chose it. But also, um, it was a very controversial novel. Uh, when it was first published, I believe uh, Oscar Wilde published it in a magazine, and the editor of the magazine actually edited about 500 words from the um, from the publication without Oscar Wilde's knowledge, and so that was a big betrayal to Oscar Wilde. And so, in future editions of the book, which was published uh, second a second time publication in 1891, he published a preface to the book, which talks about art being art for art's sake and the individual selecting what art is. And that was his reaction to that betrayal of the editor who uh, redacted 500 words from the original work. So that, so I wanted to read it, you know, I read this in high school, I just reread it recently. I wanted to find out what was so controversial, refresh my memory on that, uh, look at it with different eyes. And Oscar Wilde's a really, as everyone knows, is a colorful um, uh, writer. He's very expressive in how he sets the scene for each uh, <clears throat> for each chapter that he uh, writes about in the story, and so um, yeah, so this th those were the reasons why I chose it. And of course, uh, everybody pretty much knows the plot. Uh, Dorian Gray is painted by a painter. There's three protagonists, three people who carry the story. It's Dorian Gray, uh, the painter, and Lord Henry. And then those three men just weave a tapestry of interesting dialogue and conversation in different settings. Uh, the novel goes into questions of morality, decadence, uh, selfishness, um, and the balance between the virtues of good. So it's not all about negative attributes, but it's also about honesty, self-discovery, and doing the right thing. And so Oscar Wilde plays with those themes in this uh, novel and of course, Dorian uh, makes a wish in the novel that uh, he uh, stays young and, and refined and uh, hopes that the uh, sins of his day and what he chooses to do in life are taken out on the portrait as opposed to himself. So it's really a self-discovery. It's a cautionary tale of decadence. It's also uh, how we have to be cautioned and balance our life with uh, what we need to do that's right service to others. I mean, there's so many themes that are wave, woven into this piece of work that uh, it's a very interesting read. And if you haven't read it or haven't read it in a while, definitely recommend it to be put on your book list and uh, added to your library. So I hope you enjoyed that quick book review. I uh, hope you enjoyed the newsletter as well. And as always, when I close out these videos, keep on reading and have a great day.